Welcome everyone to today's lecture, Blockchain Technology, how it affects the key elements of operations and supply chain management. I'm Chris Callahan. Okay, this lecture builds on the learning tasks that you followed on the previous lecture. Your summary of key issues they include your critical discussion of the vodcast materials that were provided, your uploading of your summary onto your Mahara ePortfolio prior to the lecture. So this lecture extends us work to consider the implications of blockchain innovations for operations management. In this lecture, we're going to ask, we're going to look at what is blockchain, how does it work, and its socioeconomic implications, and implications for operations management itself. So what is blockchain? Blockchain is the next generation of internet. Some have described this as the as a game changer in terms of uh, the way that we experience technology okay so blockchain is a distributed ledger technology okay if we can think of this the way we think of a, a sort of a, a ledger that we write transactions down it's a way of capturing uh, transactions in time uh, so Essentially, it's a way of, of capturing these transactions in a way that is unalterable. It's also a decentralized system based on cryptographic hashing as um, mathematical algorithms. And we'll, I'll explain um, how this works next. So it's a system that tracks and stores information. So um, the way, how does blockchain work? Blockchain works in terms of blocks of information. It stores records, proof of work in blocks. Each one of these blocks has hashes. Hashes is, uh, uh, are akin to fingerprints. So the uh, hash um, would connect, one hash would connect with the next block and other hash would connect to the previous block in a way that, uh, and there's a, a time stamp on these blocks. This is a distributed system that makes it secure. Basically, if you wanted to hack a blockchain, it's distributed across nodes of a network. You would have to go in and basically hack all of those nodes. So this is a way, or through this distribu distributed mechanism, it makes this more secure. This, uh, the idea, um, emerged 1991 a few years later satoshi nakamoto who um, it's unclear whether this is a, an individual who really exists in real life or not um, published a paper um, applying this to bitcoin from there sort of captured the imagination of people and people began to see its technological uh, potential the most powerful benefit of blockchain technology might be in the way that it removes intermediaries. Through an entire supply chain, different contractors would have to use banks and intermediaries because they have to resolve trust issues. With blockchain, trust is basically built into the system. So the scale of operation now goes from where you need intermediaries to where sort of apps on phones, computers, and parties can basically transact more effectively across the entire supply chains. So this is a, a way to manage and verify online data and transaction. Smart contracts are possible. In the Internet of, of Things, we have internet applications embedded along entire production processes in, um, through supply chains. So the Internet of Things can be enabled because now we've got a system of tracking all of these transactions uh, safely. Right, now, there are certain socioeconomic implications which it's important to have an idea of because operations management interacts with the larger society and it's basically one has to understand that what one does as a business manager or business in business in operations management is at the interface of systems that are socioeconomic and these systems will affect each other. So there's certain benefits that some have said will arise from blockchain. Um, 
insurance, tracking insurance um, uh, transactions, tax, all kinds of records, innovation, a world of self-driving cars, in a world of land insecurity, you can track, um, you know, uh, property deeds. Uh, some have said that uh, power inequalities, this, this is a way whereby poorer people can access the economy. Um, voting um, can now be enabled much more securely. Uh, global remittances across countries, intellectual property, the way people sell music, these type of advantages can be, can be harnessed. So identity can be safeguarded and all, at the same time, um, privacy can be, uh, uh, can be protected. So there are applications that interact with cloud applications, data storage, and even crowdfunding, um, global prediction markets. So there are, there are powerful changes coming that this technology can, can offer human societies. In terms of operations, operations management, a useful way of, of, of looking at this is through the lens of supply chain management because um, some have argued that the biggest, the benefit of blockchain will come by way of supply chain management. Um, we have factories when goods are produced from when they are ultimately disposed of. We, we're looking at value chain sustainability, environmental uh, sort of the value added chain throughout. So blockchain offers a way of, of, of securing transactions throughout this entire chain, extremely powerful. There are error, errors of quality um, throughout these, these processes. Um, smart contract architectures can enable a tremendous amount of efficiency gains from transactions that go across this entire uh, value chain. Digitalization of supply chain visibility is perhaps one of the most powerful benefits that can be achieved from blockchain, where the supply chain becomes visible, it becomes auditable, it becomes visible, and it cleans up uh, uh, you know, a lot, is unobscured. There are um, many aspects of, of current operations that, that, that are problematic at the moment. There's sub-optimalities, ocean freight uh, uh, delays, uh, implementing just in time. There are, there are these, these, these problems, uh, planning, forecasting, uh, manufacturing, the financials of manufacturing. Many companies uh, need to identify partners along supply chains. And with this verification of, of partners, the security and uh, so background checks, these kind of things become a lot easier. So this is, this, is, this is a major advantage. Outdated technologies can be upgraded, IP protection, and then industry 4.0, the enhancement of fourth industrial revolution, smart autonomous systems, big data analytics, machine learning, all of these new technologies require an infrastructure they need to be underpinned by a system of tracking transactions and Bitcoin offers this. So it's a way of operationalizing all these other technologies in operations made along the supply chain. Digital ownership certificates, even energy management can benefit. Uh, uh, benchmarking, best practice frontiers, asset assembly tracking, proof of origin, maintenance tracking, these are all aspects of operations management that can benefit from the system that basically offers secure tracking of transactions across these systems. Uh, consumers um, at the moment rely on labels, they read a label. So this offers a way to verify that information through the supply chain. Um, retailers, third-party logistics, all of these benefits represent low-hanging fruit because to this extent, to, to, uh, to date, these, uh, this technology has not been implemented uh, sort of fully. So some talk about this being the opportunities like Uber for manufacturing. There are mark marketing savings, interactions with government, um, all of these obscure you know, areas, these gray areas of supply chain operations with other stakeholders can literally be made more transparent and verified using blockchain. So it's important uh, that you understand 
going forward now with the, as the lectures that come. Um, how to uh, that operations management and blockchains influence on it is nested within uh, within other systems. And industry 4.0 gives you an interesting interface um, of all these other technologies and how they interact together. But it's important to bear other aspects in mind, like globalization. Currently, um, with the coronavirus pandemic, uh, supply chains have been broken. It's almost a structural break in how international business is, is, is being, being run. We might see an era of shortening of supply chains. We might see an era where um, it's important to re-engage uh, our supply chains, our operations management processes, where businesses will need to, to, to utilize every advantage that they have. So blockchain technology may be particularly important to be able to do this. Now, going forward as well, when you're dealing with multiple systems, you need some kind of logic to make sense of them. So it's always a good idea with, as in the future lectures and as your studies progress, to have some kind of ordering of the most relevant theory and practice. What is the most important? What's the critical effect? Uh, 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 factors in how everything relates. And an interesting way of looking at all this digitalization is the way that we've transcended the underlying economic model, the switch to the digitization, economics of digital e economics, whereby an additional marginal sale of one more CD or one more book online has a very small additional cost and it is important to be able to take advantage of these digitalization opportunities. And blockchain be very important because that underlies the, those transactions that underlie the way that you can take advantage of the underlying economics of digitization. So the further topics that we're going to look at in the next lectures, we're going to be looking at new business models. How do you utilize <coughs> um, blockchain technology to how do you develop business models that take full advantage of, uh, of, of this new technology. Then we're gonna look at more practical, more um, sort of more detailed uh, ways of improving aspects of operations management based on blockchain technology. We've got waiting line management, quality assurance, production systems, project management, inventory management, R&D management, technology planning and forecasting, logistics, and vehicle routing, shipment size, how you mix those different um, the optimization of, of the system, warehouse location, product design, business analytics. And then we're going to look at how blockchain will change operation strategy, looking at this from a more strategic perspective and workforce planning implications. And very important, we are going to be looking at uh, the ethics so the environmental aspects, sustainability aspects, and ethics asp uh, aspects of the implication of technology to operations management and in particular supply chains and corporate social responsibility in operations management. It's very important that we keep the ethics, ethical aspect in business because what we do influences others and other stakeholders. So this is very important as we move, as we move forward into the following lectures. In summary, we looked at what is blockchain. Uh, we looked at how it works, a simple model of how it works. We looked at social, socioeconomic implications because essentially whatever we do in ops is nested within a broader society as well. We looked at implications for operations management through the lens of supply chain management because as mentioned, opportunities in supply chain management can effectively be a game changer to, to, to benefit. And at this particular time, given that we're going to be re-emerging from the coronavirus uh, pandemic, um, it's very important that um, we take advantage of every opportunity that technology offers us. Thank you for being with me in this lecture and I look forward to our next one. Thank you.